in a universe where life does not end at death. We explore the infinite possibilities forged by our very minds. Welcome to our Thadian Anthologies. Before we get started, I just want to inform you that this series was recorded over Discord. If the quality dips, it's due to connection issues. Greetings, fellow travelers and storytellers. Welcome to the New Age Reborn in Power campaign. I am your lore master for this journey, MS Arthadian. And you will get to witness an epic story that spans multiple series and a shattering mystery spread throughout the core. So without further ado, let's dive in. Last time, in the New Age. The pod pit challenge was underway while Dr. Cal's Proto entered the tech station where Liam and Dr. Cal were at. Proto was about to take Liam with him when suddenly plasmatic knight Kyver Tremere shocked him. Then, Liam and Dr. Cal retrieved the rest of the squad for reinforcements. They each attempted to put Proto at bay. But Proto nearly killed a rock with his fists. After some further pressure on him, Dr. Cal was finally able to reach his creation's mind and probe Proto, able to stop his rampage. However, in the middle of the pod pit challenge, Marmaduke 9 had some technical anomalies going on with Buddy as the coke pilot. Marm was able to figure out that Buddy wasn't being himself and powered him off before it, it tried to activate a recharged thruster. It was really adamant about Marm pressing it. Then, the pilot Hagar utilized the sin from the other pod to catch up to Marmaduke and was shortly disqualified when he, uh, when he had the sin lock Marm- Marm's pod to his, to his own and Hagar opened his pod mid-flight, teleported Marm into his own pod, locking him aside and then vanishing from the pod pit challenge and from Rento altogether. Now, the rest of the squad has an unconscious proto in their custody and are just about to find out that their cron friend has just vanished. So without further ado, let's begin our 18th entry of the New Age. Almost uh, 19. Yeah, uh, really? al- almost, almost to 19, so we'll see what happens in, in entry 19. But uh, entry 18, here we are. You guys are all inside of the tech station. Where you just saw Proto collapse to the ground, unconscious. Uh, Dr. Cal has his arms around Proto, but you can see Dr. Cal's arm is rather burnt. Um, And as this is happening, you suddenly hear a... (laughs) Disqualification. Disqualification. Ooh, ooh boy. Um, what did Marmaduke do? I, I don't think I got to mention this in the middle of the fight. I got a call from Marm. It was pretty you, concerning. You, as you guys are hearing this, you look over towards the the monitor and you and you see, uh, you see one of the pilots, the one of the pilots with the, with the hood on, um, the one named Hagar. Uh, grabbed on, grabs onto Marmaduke. This is like a, a replay of what just happened. It grabs onto Marmaduke, and then teleports him over to his pod, Hagar's pod, 
and then suddenly um you see Hagar uh do something like like he like he he puts his hand out towards the pod and the pod dematerializes and vanishes and then you see Hagar do the same thing what is and then you see the pod um, you see the pod that uh that you built Liam begin to spiral out of control over towards the tree line and then crash into the trees oh shit oh shit I'm running towards there like I'm not even waiting for you guys you begin to rush out uh you guys you guys watch as Liam runs out of the tech station what do you do um Dr. Cal very slowly gets up and he's like nursing his arms as much as he can while getting up because they're a little burnt. Um, you too. Oh, sorry. That was it. You fair. Oh, okay. I was going to say, Arak observes the transmission and he says to himself, uh, if it's not mind control, it's something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mind control, memory shenanigans. Yes. I mean, this was a group project, but we kind of got yeeted out of our bodies for a bit so you see kyver goes over to you dr cow pulls out a source rune and then goes to heal your wounded arms and then he <laughs> as he as he's leaning over to to you dr cow he says do you think that you can watch him for the time being i need to go check on on well he looks over towards the mall and then looks over towards the monitor uh, yes, yes. Uh, I need to do some. Need to make sure nothing else is broken on him, so I can watch him. Caliber, you're still here, right? <laughs> I look around to make uh, sure Caliber isn't dead. Yeah, I'm. St- I'll stay with Doctor Cal just to make sure in case Proto gets back up and is still angry. Yeah. Um. What are What are your status scores currently, Doctor Cal? Uh. Let's see here. We got a six. Uh, an 18 and a 50. Okay, okay 6 so health, 18 stamina, 50 energy. You heal up. You heal up uh, 19 health. Oh, I'm basically almost at full. As he heals you and then he's like, that's all, that's all I could do for now, but l- later on just come, come to me, alright? And then you see he looks over towards Psy uh, and a rock. And he, and he says, you too, Psy. Um, perhaps we should go out and see what, what's going on out there. Hmm? Yep, let's go. And then I turn around and go after Liam. A rock, are you going to follow or are you going to stick with uh, Dr. Cal and Calibre? Uh, I think he'll stick around with Kyle and Caliber. Okay. Uh, as Kyver begins to rush out, Asai, you, you follow suit as you guys see um, Liam is literally like sprinting down the, the, the steps at, the, at this point, and you could see that he is, he is rushing down. Um, and Kyver looks over at you, Asai, and it's like, ah, oh, crap. Um, all right. Uh, let's see what what can I do here? Um, here, and you see him pull out what looks like a spark rune. Yeah, easy. He uh, he pulls out a spark rune it, as it <laughs> electrifies in, in front of him. And then you see him uh, do like a hand motion on it, and then a rift <laughs> opens up as he looks over at you, and he and he uh, reaches out his hand to you, and, he, and is like, uh, "Shall we?" All right, let's go. You <laughs> grab his hand. You <laughs> transport over Liam as you're rushing down these steps. You're freaking out, and then suddenly you see a, an arc of lightning. <laughs> erupts right in front of you and and a rift opens up with Sai and Kyver standing there and then you see him reach out his hand and he's like come with me we'll go faster this way uh 
kind of stunned, wordlessly uh, takes a moment to register and... I reach out my hand. And he grabs the hand. Well, whose hand do you grab? Uh, Sai. Okay, you go and grab onto size, and uh, as you grab onto size, you see the the rift closes up and then reopens, and it, it's almost like you're all both of your bodies are completely engulfed with electricity as you are as it's just plasma flowing around you, and then suddenly it opens back up into a rift, and you see uh, a gathering of people around what looks like um, multiple well. A multiple pod crash. One of uh, one of the pods is is actually the sin the sin's pod, as well as your pod that is inside the trees and has broken down a few a few of the the trunks of the trees. Um, looking for the entrance uh, or the cockpit of the. Do I, I identify that, or is it too mangled up? Um, you see the the hood of your of your pod has been completely destroyed off of it, um, off to the side. You see a cleanup crew that is that is currently like cleaning up a, bu- a bunch of pieces and has like, like multiple crates like. Being being uh, hovered along on on this massive uh, like crate bed, where they're just like just multiple stacked up on, onto each other, and you see they're cleaning they're currently cleaning up stuff with what looks like these mechanical arms that are, are reaching out and grab and grabbing stuff and then putting them inside the crates. Okay, you said hood. Do you mean like car hood, not the cockpit? Uh. So on the pod, the the hood is basically like the the top of of the pod, so it is kind of like the cockpit, like the hood of the cockpit. And the it looks like the cleaning crew aren't around there. Uh, it looks like they're they're spreading like across the entire the entire crash zone right now. And it, oh, I'm and going to go. I'm. I'm gonna go straight towards the the main uh, the main pod. Yeah. Okay. You begin to head over there as you see a clean a, another cleaning crew is actually like is over there where you see uh, like just trunk like completely like debris all, all throughout this area. It's hard to it's hard to navigate through. I need you to roll me an acrobatics check. Same with you, Sai. If you're if you're following suit. Yeah, I gotta make sure he doesn't say something and get yeah get yeeted kicked <laughs> out. Oh, oh weird. Uh, I got a seventeen. All right. Sorry, my I basically got the whole code telling me what I'm rolling. Oh. I actually like that. Uh, oh. Sorry, it's just taking me a while to figure out how it's being shut down. Well, uh, eighteen. Uh, seventeen and eighteen. Yeah, you're you're both able to to maneuver around this area um, without getting you know pricked by some like big pieces of wood that are like sharp, have like sharp edges that would probably <laughs> be big big splinters. No, no got stabbed through. Giant no, uh, splinters. Gotcha. No, no cords being yanked by by your side side. So you're good. <laughs> um, but as you guys maneuver through this area and you get over to the actual pod you see the cleaning crew is is cleaning up the air area and you go you go up Liam they they don't stop you or anything like that they they're, they seem to be it looks like they're they're sin or robots of some kind and they're not they're not paying attention at all um, but you go over to the cockpit which is completely like torn open um, and you see inside all the systems are kind of destroyed. Mostly, there is a large, uh, there is a large branch that has been completely impaled into the actual computer systems. Currently, uh, you don't see a buddy. Uh, I'm gonna s- send a ping to Buddy if I can. Um, go ahead and roll me a computer check. 
Is is there an exit hole <laughs> or anything of the of of like that? No. Twenty four. I mean, the only exit hole you see is the big gaping hole that has completely destroyed most of the hole of of the the pod. Twenty four. Yes. You you check your surroundings for any kind of computer systems that might be giving off some kind of signal. There are no signals currently. Mom. Okay, mom's not here. Buddy's not here. The computer of the crafts are dead. He's got to be here. <laughs> well, unless Buddy is offline or with mom. Uh, looking through the tree line, I'm trying to narrow... Like a uh, p- potential... If he's flown out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll me a perception check as you begin to look around. Uh, um, actually, That's can... Uh, you... Oh, sorry. Yeah? Roll me a navigation. Navigation. There it is. <laughs> Twenty-two, yay! Twenty-two. Okay. Um, you you think about how the like you you look and you examine every single part of of the the, the trees that have been destroyed and how this this pod has has gone got into this place and you point out the trajectory of what this uh this crash path was and as you you do this you try to calculate the exact velocity in which it was it was spinning and then whether or not if buddy were to fly out in which in which location he would have he would have flown out towards what was your perception check 22 your perception not the navigation oh oh perception yeah. is a 15 15 okay as you do so you you find that there there could <laughs> there could be three separate paths um but you have a good feeling about the one that heads to the uh, southeast direction i think i know where he'll be and i just rush over there <laughs> okay you begin to you begin to rush over there um Sai, what are you doing um the computer system of i'd like to download some of the data off of it uh the the pod itself yep okay see if there, there's anything on the crash report or i'd like you to roll me a coding um do, do, do. and then you also notice that kyver goes over to the actual cleanup crew uh the the robots there and then as he goes up to to them he goes and and kind of checks on the uh, on them and says, "Diagnostic check. Uh, have you seen any kind of? Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, I a uh, robot, small like a rodent. And he is lucky that Liam's not here. <laughs> and you see, kind of rabbit shaped, kind of cat shaped. Yes, like that. And you see the uh, the." <laughs> the, the robots just look over. He's like, "Error, error, not allowed, not allowed." <laughs> and you see, uh, Kyver goes behind them, and you see he focuses really hard on something and begins to forge what looks like this weird coded language right in front of him. And he's like, Ugh. and then you see him place it onto the sin the, the robot's back and what did you get on your coding Sai? I got a 16 okay as you begin to try to get into the computer systems that have been mostly destroyed 
it's I just want the data off of it. I'm not yeah. trying to. Okay, okay, you're not trying to read any of it. You're able to you're able to get get the uh whatever data is left on this uh, in the in this computer system of the of the pod itself. Um you haven't read it yet, but you 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 get a file. I send the I send a copy of the file to Liam. Okay. You send a yeah you, Liam, as you're rushing over to the, in, in that direction, you hear a come from your codex. So I look at that. You pull it out. You see a message from Sai. You check the file. Um, it, it, is, it says a message is just data from the um, crash. Thought you might like it. Are you going to open it or are you going to continue oh, yeah, running? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll slow down and st- kind of look at it okay you slow down and you go to to open it i'd like you now uh to roll me a computer's check computer pow Ooh. Mm. uh that's a 20 it looks like 20 oh, As- wait 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 <laughs> okay, it seems to be working. Sorry, I just got this. I it looked like I got the same roll from like my navigation versus the computer. Uh-huh. And then I rerolled it, and it was the exact same, but my third roll was different. Okay, and then my fourth roll is different. Okay, we're good. Remember, in random <laughs> rolls, duplicates are normal. Uh, so yeah, no, what, like, what was the total? Once you get to three in the same same of different stuff, yeah. it makes mm. me a little concerned. It was a, t- you a just, 20. Okay, 20. Yeah, it was um, a 20, yeah. As you go and check on, on this file, it is corrupted, but you're able to kind of like gather what information uh, is found in it, and you find a coordinate path leading to a location within Synchronous. Uh, it seems to be a location that will be a lore check. Liam. Where the heck is that? Should be under knowledges. If you don't have anything in it, oh, then that's it's just, just a straight, straight into life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's probably why I don't have it as a button. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't feel like that's... Oh, yeah, no, that's how it works. Okay, 22, because, yeah, intellect is... 12. Stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got 12 in intellect. Okay, so... Uh, uh, oh, yeah. This coordinate looks familiar to you, and it gives you a flashback uh, to a location in which you had visited when you were very young on the mission that you guys were on, your family was on, in the Solar Orbiter. It was a, it was supposed to be some kind of space station, a research station. Ah, these are the same coordinates. Is that interesting? I'm gonna file that away okay. and keep on my search. <laughs> All right, as you keep on your search, I'd like you to roll me another perception check. And as that happens, I'd like to move back over to Doctor Cal, Proto, oh. and Iraq. Uh, I rolled an eight. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, we'll get I back to. I should not have looked away. Remember that. <laughs> Over to the alien part of the crew. Yeah. Okay. So, Doctor Cal, you have... wait. None of us are from this planet, right? Aren't we all alien here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who's yeah. the primary? Humanoids, and then we got <laughs> two reticons and a Nugonian. 
which I will argue are some of the more alien-looking races. Besides Scantum. <laughs> which ones? Uh, Reticon and Newgonians. Yeah, I think Newgonians are the most alien. Because they are they alien. Are just, <laughs> they are just greys. I mean, sorry, they're not just greys. Well, they're Newgonians. Anyways. Anyways. Um, so, Iraq. You see Dr. Cow is there holding on to Proto. He is healed. Diagnostics. <laughs> You're going to do diagnostics? Okay. Uh, it's yeah, e- no, it's easy enough to like o- open him up and, and check his diagnostic system. Um, but I would like you to roll me a coding check as you do so, Dr. Cal. Caliber. Caliber, you are, you are there as well. Um, yep. And you are watching Dr. Cal do this. Any, anything you guys would like to do? Rock takes a moment to lament the loss of his armor. <laughs> and also inspect his chest because he doesn't know what actually happened. He was focused on more pressing issues that are currently having a coding check done onto them. So what does he find? <clears throat> I got a 20, which is very low for Cal. Okay. 20. It looks like Proto's diagnostics diagnostics are are what they were the last time you the last time you saw him. Guess I'm doing this with Also the my... the ability the ability that he was using that was like teleporting you guys around and paralyzing you you don't see it okay he lost that I guess right now I'm using my core command codex because I have three codexes and I think Proto was holding on to the TL when he got adopted so I only have one codex remaining that isn't that's operational right now. <laughs> when you defeat the uh, ba- big bads and then they become your ally and they suddenly lose all the cool <laughs> superpowers they use against you. Yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. happened. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. He got a virus that gave him superpowers, except it was a computer virus. That makes sense. It makes sense. Better than a zip yeah. bomb. But what are you guys, <laughs> what are you doing uh, after you find this out? Uh, I'm just kind of getting up and letting, like, I I kind of gesture for, like, a rock or a uh, caliber to help me, like, get Proto somewhere where he can rest. Because he is human. The rest of him is human. Uh, he's sorry, a prime. prime. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt. There's barely a difference. There is much you difference. Haven't told me, Humans you suck. haven't told me physiology. <laughs> Cron, more like <laughs> he's not even a cron. No. He's a tonist. He's a tonist. Um, but mm-hmm. as you are, at, who who grabs him? Actually, I will. Okay, you you. I'll pick him up. You pick him up. <laughs> you carry him over to a like a bench area and lay him down. And as you do so, what are you gonna do? Hmm. I'm gonna stare at Proto. Hey, Dr. Cal, do you think if I shoot him with a taser shot, it would wake him up? <laughs> Don't do that. He just got the crap beat out of him. After hey. nearly killing a rock. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Rock. My armor. <laughs> it was very close to killing. Oh, I won. I. That's a matter of perspective. Um. <sighs> Suddenly, Doctor Cal. <laughs> is is it Mike? <laughs> Wait, which codex? Is core it? Command Codex. <laughs> oh, okay. I checked the core. Commander Kurter is calling you. Uh, I just put it on. Is there a speaker version? <laughs> Yeah, it's a holovid. You could put it put it I on, put it on a speaker. Uh, suddenly, a holovid of 
Commander Carter appears. Dr. Kel. Hello, Commander Carter. How's it going? I was we just... Frodo. Interesting. I was just informed to contact you about bringing the asset mm -hmm. home. By Admiral Volton. Oh, I couldn't get it. It was protected by something else. It wasn't just Liam. Protected something by blocked something. Me. It blocked you, you say. I can't explain it any other way. All right. Something about you had your chance. Okay. Um. If that's the case, can you bring Frodo back? Um, I, I would say yes, but he, he was still angry like he was before. I want to make sure that has stopped before I can say yes to that. Very well. Um, he's not. In that case, I recommend that you contact Admiral Volton and let him know about uh, your mission. And... Uh, if you could, Dr. Cal, you and Caliber, when you can, if, you, if you're free, come to the... Well, uh, there is a cavern in which Corkaman has been checking out, scouting out, uh, with Cortexian informants that seem to have done some kind of ritual. We want to see if maybe you could help us out with that. I'll see what I can do. Good. All right. Contact Admiral Volton as soon as you can. Got it. Kurt her out. Dr. Cal hangs up and then just contest Admiral Volton. All right. Um, you go to contact Admiral Fulton. Anything that a rock and Caliber are doing? Caliber's staying there, kind of confused, thinking ritual. Uh, kind yeah. of ritual. <laughs> Probably some horrible probing thing. A rock. Hmm. Uh, I you, guess you rock is inspecting his weapon. Uh, go ahead and roll me a. Go ahead and roll me a, a, a straight intellect check, a rock. Straight intellect. It goes. The fourth of an eight. So you roll the three plus five. Uh. You, you're examining your weapon and your armor and you're touching your body like, Whoa, why is it gone? <laughs> and um, as this is happening, you're, you're kind of overhearing what they're talking about, something about a cavern uh, and Core Command like, scouting it. You remember that Sai and Marmaduke were going on but we're going back to the to the cavern in which you guys fought the dragon and the the Nugonian situation over there, and how they went deeper into it, and how they were talking about that before, throughout that one week that you guys were, that you guys like hung out and and did stuff. You did some jobs and, and all that, but watched a really good movie. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good movie, Bronze. But yeah, you 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 overhear this coming from Doctor Cal and Caliber. What do you do? Hmm. I mean, doesn't know really what to say because he remembers Sai and Marmaduke going there, but. Was, is it really relevant to just mention it out loud? He seems to mention things out loud a lot. Maybe that could be... Okay, 
I mean, Sai would mm-hmm. Sai would have told kept the group updated on like mm. things that were going on in yeah, the cavern, except for the days that there they were was, missing, and then update them after those days. There was also that one <sighs> that one day where where Sai apparently did something inside that that cavern and fell unconscious for Passed an entire out. day. Yeah. <laughs> Or mm. o- like over twelve hours, but full unconscious. So, and I'm sure you probably like went to her bedside, maybe once at least within those few hours. Yeah, it did give him the big hacking concern. So, there's that too. Hmm. Okay, so a rock may mention out loud. Hmm. I fell unconscious in the cave. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Sorry. What did you say, Rock? My friend Sai. She is investigating a cave. Much like the one you're talking about. She fell unconscious. But she was okay in the end. I guess. Oh, well, that's definitely a concern. It did me. What did they do in there? Hmm. You'd ask. (laughs) You have my comm link. Oh, right. (laughs) Well, I had to call someone else real quick. Do you technically have a Add job? Add me to the group call. <laughs> Add me to the... We'll do that after I talk with the person who wanted me to extract things from Liam's brain. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Dr. Cal, you're going to call Admiral Volton? Oh, yeah. All right. I'm you calling go, Admiral Volton. You go and I was told uh, to call. click on his, his link inside your codex, and then you begin to call, and we're going to go over back over to Liam. And, and Sai. Um, probably spin her around, try like lost <laughs> from that role. I mean, it's lost as in moment. I lost my the direction I was heading. Yeah. Um, um, you are looking around to see if you could find Buddy uh, at this direction. You you know that this would probably be the most like the most likely direction in which he in which he landed. But there were other there were two other locations that he could have flew out of and hit, like, a little area. Um, in your, in your internal cal- calculations. He has to be here. Uh, you cannot find Buddy. Sai, what are you doing? As you see, Kyver has, uh, taken, it, it almost looks like he forged this coded energy and he he was struggling to do so but like he he was able to he was able to do it and then uh he like kind of placed that energy into the robot and then the robot kind of stopped and then you see all of the uh arms the appendages that that are like robotic that were picking up like all the shrapnel and and debris um begin to go into the actual crates and begin to pull out parts of the debris. Almost like it's searching for something. But you see Kyver is there focusing currently. What do you do, Sai? Hello, Sai, are you there? Yeah, oh, um, Liam went off. Yeah. So I, uh, Liam is, Liam is not here right now. It's just you and, uh, you and Kyber. Kyber can handle himself. I'm gonna go after Liam. Okay. Um, as you go after Liam, I'd like you to roll me a navigation check. That is a 20. Yeah, you're able to find Liam as Liam is currently it looks like he's like looking around in in just like this one patch of uh of like brush in the forest area Liam 
Are you looking for Buddy? He has to be here. <laughs> I'll help him look. Okay, uh, I would like you to roll me a perception check. That is a 18. You continue to look around, um, and then as you kind of go begin to go off the, the path, you notice what looks like a uh, a bush that has been kind of torn open, and there's like a little hole in, inside of it. And as you look inside the bush, you see these red eyes that are blinking. Uh, buddy, is that you? Error. Error. Liam? Liam? I... Yes, yes? (laughs) Um... Buddy's having some problems here. No, no, no. I'm rushing. Rushing. Liam... You. Roll a discipline will check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see. Wait, I wait, wait until I see, you, buddy. <laughs> Liam, as you as you come over, you look into this little hole and you see uh, red eyes that are blinking. And as they they blink, these the red eyes stay open, and then you see a light shine from them and, be, and begin to scan you. Buddy, are, are, are you okay? Identify. No, you are not. Um, Identify. He's not pinned or anything. What? What did you say? Is he pinned? Uh, pinned down? He, it looks like he... It, it looks like this bush is... Um, like... It, it's just... It's just... It's just there, but he carved a hole inside of it so he could hide under it or something like that. Um, but he keeps saying, "Identify." I'm. I I sent a ping to Buddy containing the information of um, size um, aka Sifra Medina Tees, Miss Medina Tees, um. Uh, designation, ally, friend, buddy. I'd like you to roll me a discipline will check sign. A knew it was coming. That is a 29. Jeez. Hey. All right. Well, um, uh, I, 19. You send over this ping. And it's like, Sephronis, Medin, Atiz. Oh, I identify. Don't have to full. Don't have to full name me. Identify. Please don't full name me. Identify. Identify. I nudge. I nudge Liam. I'm. I'm grabbing him. You go to grab him. I like you to roll me a dodge check. <laughs> What's a grapple check? <laughs> uh, that's a 21. 21. You're able to dodge out of the way as he takes his tail and tries to grab onto your hand. And But you see it looks like a... Well, it, it more so looks like some kind of uh, sharp needle coming out of the center of his tail as it tries to stick you but you are able to pull away identify identify no buddy identify identify I'm gonna go go again but this time I'm actually waiting for the tail so I can grab the tail 
Okay, you're gonna go again and do, and do that. Uh, I'd like you to roll me a brawl with agility. Brawl with agility, not strength. Uh, would that just be uh, unless I have things in brawl, just an agility then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I don't. Yeah, I don't have anything for. Her. I'm not trusting the. I don't. I'm sorry. It just feels you, like my dice rolls are just consistently high. Maybe I'm just lucky today. Maybe you're just lucky today, or you're cheating on me. You, <laughs> no, I hope not. It's giving uh, you I mean, a break. It, it's just a ten. I rolled a ten, but still, that just ten feels plus agility. Like been, yeah, which is ten, so twenty. All right, you go to you grab time. onto it. Uh, you, you you go to reach out your hand as he goes to stick you, and you grab on with your with your other hand. And as as you grab on with your with your other hand, you begin to pull him. He's like identify, identify, and you pull him out. As you pull him out, you see uh, the underneath him his his central uh, like sh- like shell underneath him where, where you know usually the cat's most most um vulnerable spot is it has been torn off and you can see the cords are like some of the cords are ripped out and basically like pro, uh, uh, buddy's guts are are, be, are are spilling out everywhere oh, buddy you got hurt identify 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 Liam I think you should uh Say your name before he he his code goes in circles and gets stuck in a loop because it's you're scaring him a little bit. Uh, I I'm Liam, you, you know me, <laughs> Liam, Liam. He's he's your first buddy. He's your top buddy. He's your top buddy. <laughs> you caused this, Liam. What? what? You did this. What are you talking about? Um. Buddy, I think you might have an error on your data set. You see, he lifts his head up. His eyes begin to glow this like bluish white color ration, and then you see a holographic image begin to zoom, extend up. And then you see Liam taking a, uh, a, a bunch of <laughs> basically pieces. Of, There's a message in the Discord. You guys should join the Discord. <laughs> Uh, you see, you see, Liam is taking what looks like um, a body or pieces of a body and putting it inside a crate. And as he's putting it, oh inside, my god, it's related! Holy shit! As he's putting it inside, <laughs> we don't a want crate, anything to do with that thing. Uh, you see it; it's being closed up, but. Then you see him trying to push it out of an airlock as suddenly uh, tendrils begin to expand expand outside of the crate and begin to try to stay inside the airlock when 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 it completely shuts and then it gets blasted into space. And then it stops. It is your fault. What? You, buddy, that even you said that that thing was bad. That was before I could reason. (laughs) Fix me. Then. Yes, I, that, that's what we're trying to do. But your tail is... What happened to your tail? (laughs) 
What do you mean? This is how you built me. I I don't need an investigation or insight check for that. (laughs) Something's wrong. (laughs) Okay, buddy. Let's let's take you to fix you up. He stopped calling me that. Um. Then then. What's what is your, your designation then? One nineteen. I I give Sai a look. <laughs> All right, one nineteen. I just want you to know, from our perspective, your your very rapid change of behavior is concerning. You should be concerned with the choices that this Liam makes. Oh, I am very concerned of the choices Liam makes <laughs> every single day. <laughs> that, that. Oh, um, <laughs> I, I'm going to need to get someone's help, so I'm going to... Sai, would you mind carrying, buddy? Or uh, 119? If if uh, 119's okay with it. 119, do I have approval of um, transporting you? Confirmed. Alright, I'll carefully scoop him up. As you carefully scoop him up, uh, you guys begin to head back over. I was so expecting a discipline will check right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Uh, once I grabbed the tail and that, the conversation started, I was like, oh, shit. This would w- discipline will. <laughs> you know, I'm going to get stabbed you cry, in the foot. If you fail, you cry a lot. <laughs> Uh, like, if I failed that, I wouldn't even try to dodge, I like, if I was given the option. I was like, oh, shit, <laughs> I'm going to get hit. As you guys begin to head back over towards uh, the pod, you see Kyver is there. And he is b- b- basically has finished up looking through the crates. And then looks back, he's like, well, I guess that was a waste of time. And he looks back at you. <laughs> You found him? Um, found him concerning uh, developments. I think we have another... Oh, uh, Identify. I'm, like, I'm not staying there. I'm looking for... Identify. Um, um, Dr. Cal. Identify. An expert in the field. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do not see Dr. Cal, uh, but you begin to walk... You, you I'm can going to see... Well, you I'm can assume, assume they're back where they were. Yeah, but now you are in the center of the f- of the pod pit challenge forest area, which is pretty far from the location that you left them at. Hey, uh, could I get identify? A ride back? Identify. Oh. Why is he saying that? Um, there's a data core corruption of some sort. Um, Which is my my assumption, considering. Uh, oh, Kaiva Tremir. Confirmed. Right. Um. Okay. Well, then, should you you want to go back to Doctor Cal to see if he can help fix Buddy here? Yeah. Um, Don't I'm call gonna me shoot. that expert on this. I'm gonna shoot uh Dr. Cal a message before we arrive All right. near Ooh. near Proto. Yeah, uh before that happens, we're gonna hop back over to Dr. Cal <laughs> and, uh, and and a rock and <laughs> and caliber. Uh as Dr. Cal, you um. Wait, wasn't I calling someone? Yes. Oh, that, that was that, calling that's them. Why, that's, okay. <laughs> I thought someone was calling me. 
I was very concerned. <laughs> you uh, you suddenly see a, a holovid uh, image kind of appear, and it is Admiral Volton. Well, hello there, well, Dr. Kell. Admiral Volton, I got bad news. I don't like to hear that. Um, could you could you tell me I'm if sorry. there's any good news first? <laughs> we got the pro though back. Probably. You got the pro. Oh, that that is good. That is good news to hear. That is good. Probably um, though. What, okay. what do you mean by probably? Uh, he seems to be. He was like infected with a virus, a pretty bad one. If it infected a sin, is that anything that you can't handle? I think I've handled it, but he is resting right now. All right. Well, then I guess um, restrain him for now and and make sure that he is under under surveillance by uh, Caliber, the one that I I assigned to you. Uh, he is. Uh, okay. But bad news. Whatever. Right. Wait. Okay. Is wait. Wait. You have on. to. You have to be be patient. Really quick. Really quick. You can't just. Okay. All right. Oh. First. When it comes to the bad news, is it because you were not able to acquire the blueprints from Liam? It was because of that. Did you do exactly as I insisted? We set up a probe. Yes. Whatever. It appears Liam's blueprints do not come from him. That's the best way I can describe it. This is something I realize, yes. Whatever is giving him these blueprints doesn't want me to see them. Enough to kick me out of his brain. I'm not the best prober, but I'm pretty decent. I'm not sure I can get further. I see. Mm. Maybe if I I suspected something like this would happen. But that's my only guess. All right, well, thank you for doing what you could, Doctor. One more assignment Um, for you. And what would that be? If you could send uh, Squadron 119 to their next directive on the pathway of their uh, Directive 140, that would be much appreciated. I, uh, where do they need to head? Um, give me one moment. I need to make. Sh- I need to check with my mission codex real quick. Hmm. Where are you? No, that is the wrong area. The wrong archive. Oh yes. Uh, they need to go to Thet. Thet. Yes. There is a platoon there okay. that is in need of assistance, and there is a, well, um, a potential collusion between Counter Command and the Zealot Dynasty. That is very concerning. Yes, because if the Zealot Dynasty is able to acquire uh, the capabilities of a Navy fleet, such as what Counter Command has, then, well, we are looking at a, a larger war that on two fronts. Okay, I'll s- make sure to tell them. I'll tell you if I have any developments in the issues with acquiring the blueprints. Good. Well, then. Uh, I'll let you get to it. Uh, votes will be transferred over to you uh, in about 30 minutes or so for your Thank assistance. You. And you see he <laughs> hangs up. Man. Well. Uh. I really hope whatever affected Proto is only a one-time thing. It'd be a nightmare if we have to deal with this over again. Caliber, <laughs> yeah, wasn't it just those like things I said that caused this issue? 
Yeah. Um, like you've... I wasn't exactly there when it started. But from what you keep saying, it's those codes that you said before. Before you went nuts. Oh, is he waking up? Oh, that's not a good sound. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, I do a medical check to see if his body's working. Go ahead and roll me a medicine check. What is, what is a rock and caliber doing? Caliber's hand on pistol, like he's ready to draw if he needs to. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> rock does the same. Well, shirtless. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Or, um, <laughs> 20. 20. Uh, you check him. I have a reason to be cautious. He looks like he's... He seems like he's just very exhausted. Makes sense. Rota? Mm. You there, buddy? Creator. You're not going to try attacking us? Your voice hurts my head. (laughs) Dr. Cal would know about a hangover. Uh, Frodo, do you... Do you have a hangover? Hangover? No. I did not... Like a migraine? What are you saying? I mean, you seem groggy. Or you're being weird. (laughs) Oh, God. (sighs) Are are you okay? You see, he hasn't even opened his eyes yet. I do, like, kind of force them open to make sure they're responding. As you force it open, you see his, his, like... His eye rolls into the back of his head for a second and then looks at you, and then you see him, like, his eyes open up. He's like, oh, 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 oh. Creator? Yes. Well, yes, well, brother? Oh, well, where am I? What's happening? Uh, a lot of things has happened, where? brother. What's the last thing you remember? You were... You were in the... In the medical bay, and I was checking on you. Then I said the numbers, and that caused the issue. You don't remember anything that's happened for the last... How long has it been? It's been like a week, hasn't it? Uh, no, it hasn't been a week. It's been about, like, two days. Two days? Yeah. And you don't remember anything from the past two days? Um... No. Must have been corrupted in your memory. Oh, you got hacked. Hacked? By what? Apparently some magic numbers. And the person called Havoc. A rock? His name was not Havoc. (laughs) Hagar. Hagar? Hey, Hagar. (laughs) Hagar. It's Hagar. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Hagar. Where, where are we? Uh, we're at the pod race. Uh, you, you just got you had a mission. Kicking you, our ass. Wait, wait, did you did you finish the mission for for the admiral? Uh, technically, yes. Uh, there was a few hiccups with the mission. Uh, but you've been out of commission for two days. Uh, you also just tried killing us. Again. Oh. Again. Oh, I, I, I'm i sorry. And he looks over uh, at the rocks. He's like, uh, Sorry. Uh, rock, where was, were, were you where always, were you always, um, under one like that? And he points at your chest. 
Not always. Did I he do, says while did holding I, the gun. Did I do hey, something? I still... Did I do something to you? He pauses for a moment for dramatic effect, and then he <laughs> lowers his gun, pulses it. Maybe in a past life. You you punched his armor off. I punched. Yeah, you tore it to shreds. Yeah. I missed it dearly. It was actually fairly impressive. Where are the pieces? I feel like I've lost this. All of them gone. It, like defense. I have I have two abilities. I can I can I can punch through armor and, and destroy it, or I could phase it out of existence. It's phased. Phased. Oh, it, wait, wait. Let me check something. And you see him close his eyes. Um, I can't restore it to full, but I can at least restore it to you. Okay, I didn't realize this. <laughs> wait, you can? I didn't. You can just get it back. Why haven't I asked him about this? <laughs> uh, whatever. He does so. Uh, Arak, your armor comes back, but you only have five armor threshold. Good enough. He smiles. I, you want some repair work done on it before uh, we leave? You see him... Uh, you see... Proto just start to wave around. He's like, oh, I feel tired. I'm gonna sleep. Okay. Do you need nutrition? <laughs> Nutrition's. Yes. Yes. How many nutrition's do I have on me? Is a good question. I, I, mean, I don't think I, I took I, any. I don't know if you if you have any nutrition's on you. I haven't <laughs> taken any because Doctor Cal forgets to eat. Um, and he has some proto on him. In fact, he has ten. He will expend one nutrient. Oh, that's that's not good. <laughs> He takes but it'll a, help. Thank you. He Rock. takes the nutrition. He's like, and he puts it all in his mouth and and eats it in one bite. We'll get you some more food before we head out. Please take yourself a rest. Yes, and you see him rest back. Uh, and then suddenly, Doctor Cal, you get a. Uh, Sai, are you calling Doctor Cal or are you just messaging? I'll call him. Okay. Uh, Dr. Cal pops it up. Uh, Sai is on the other side. Um, yes, okay, Sai. so... Oh, yeah, hello. Uh, <laughs> we found we found our little cabot friend. Is he okay? Um, Don't call me that. He is not okay. It, it he has a very similar situation to your son. I don't know if they should be interacting, but we is have that, him and is we're that buddy? on your way. It, it was buddy. Uh, it seems to be affected by the same thing you are. Maybe. Possibly? Um. Can I see it? Not not going by buddy right now. What's it? I don't what like that going? name. Going by going by 119. Uh, Dr. Cal, that rings a bell in his head real quick. <laughs> I mean, their squad is that's... is squad 119, so, I mean... Yeah, but that's part We're... of the code that caused the issues. Why is Buddy acting like a total glitch? <laughs> God, do I have to do it again? No. Uh, um, does Liam know how he coded Buddy? Liam, Buddy, Buddy's... 119's not friends with Liam right now. What do you mean 119's not friends with Liam right now? 119 is under the pressure that Liam caused everything. What does that even mean? I have no idea. Oh, um, Jesus Christ. Uh, Dr. Cal is just like getting ready to probe and do another... T- what, what do you call it? D-hacking? D-hacking. White, uh, white hat hacking. <laughs> I go into their brain and then I put up a firewall. It's, it's virus protection, but for sin. Working a lot better than some other unit. I'm Norden antivirus. <laughs> well, that's just adding another one. 
Jeez. Oh, um, should we meet you at a secondary location just so that Kyver, Kyver speaks up? I can always, a... I can always just transport us back, but I'm, I'm getting low on on energy, so we should probably go. Back yeah, and, let's and rest. let's walk. Let's get get some time to. Well, I mean, it's going to be a pretty far trip because we have to make it all the way up to those towers over there. And you see in the distance, the towers are kind of like uh, above the trees. And so you have to go through oh, like everything and it's going to take some time. Probably, Could like, I just, uh... probably like about like uh, if you're walking over there, it's probably going to take about like six hours to get over there. Can I just transfer some energy to you? Is that a thing we can do? Um, not necessarily, unless you have an ability to do so. I, I can no, probably, I, just... I can probably just energetic flow my way through. Can you give me your location? Maybe we can find the pod and reach you faster. No, I mean, I, I, I can, I can do one more, one more rift over there. So I, I, I could, I could do so. It's just if. If anything else happens, like like proto or buddy situations, I my rune forging is gone. I can't do anything. Yeah, I we are in a pretty sticky situation. I'm not sure we're clear yet. Let's let's yeah, find no. a uh, give me no. A let's save save some energy. I, I uh, said, uh, well then, for actually, follow follow me back over over here real quick, and you see him begin to head back to where you guys were just at at the at the at the pod. Okay, so we gotta find the broken pod. Uh, Doctor Kai, you don't need to do anything because you, because you're already at the towers. So. <laughs> um, yeah, no, but um, wait, what are they gonna do? As they head over there. You see Kyver goes over to the actual uh, robot, uh, the, the cleaner, the, 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 the people who are picking up all, all, all the shrapnel and all that stuff. And he goes up to it and then he, uh, he goes and pushes it aside and he goes onto the, the actual base of, of the, of the, like the, the basically hover, hover bed that, that was, that was carrying all the crates. I was like, um, actually, let's let's move all the crates off of here so that we can go faster, and then you guys can just actually probably hop inside one of the, one of the crates and to to stay locked in, and we'll use this to fly up back up up there. Should be faster. Marmaduke would be so sad at the state of our transportation. All right, let's go. We need to figure out what talking. happened to Marmaduke too. Were you able to get anything from from the the pod systems? I didn't look at it. I sent it to Liam. Liam? Liam? Yes. Have you looked at it yet? Oh, uh, oh, your message. Yeah, it's it's probably important. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably <laughs> See, I, he is very unreliable. I get it, buddy. I get it. I pat buddy's head. Oh, 119. I was about to say. I am so sorry. I need to uh, reroute my designation. Yes, you do. And Kyber's like, so, uh, let's move all these crate- crates off. And then you see he, he takes the appendages and begins to, like, take the crates off. And it's like, you guys can hop inside the, uh, the two there. I don't get my own crate. Do you want your own crate, 119? I would like my own crate. All right. He goes and grabs a crate and puts it back on there. You can hop inside the crate. Let me hop inside the crate. Sifranis Medina Tees, let me hop inside the crate. Yeah. <laughs> right, they're holding <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs> you, you. 119, oh uh, god. Yeah. <laughs> 119 is now inside the crate. 119 is now inside the crate. Cat, and... cat in the box, what are you gonna do? 
Well, is it alive or dead? First, we have to decide whether it's dead or alive. <laughs> Kyver begins to lift it up, and it begins to bump into a few of of the tree branches. You guys feel it, it, it rock aside a bit. It's like, sorry, 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 and the the thing goes, and uh, after about an hour or so, you guys get back to the tech station, um, and. During that hour, Proto is, is resting. Uh, Doctor Cal, if you want to fix up, if you want to fix up um, a rock's, a rock's ar- armor, armor. You, you can go ahead and roll a craft check. Ooh, a craft check. Well, might as well go all to go all out to help help a rock. <laughs> we did beat the armor off of him, so we'll use seven. Uh, actually, no, we can't do that. I don't have enough stamina. That's wrong. Bro, Sorry. No. I don't if you get above a thirty, blocks. if you get above a thirty, then then a rock's armor is back to full. I I'm not gonna get above a thirty. Uh, that is a twenty one plus six. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. All right. Uh, yeah, I didn't use them, so it's only a rock. Your your armor is basically like two away from full. Ah, okay. Um, his threshold was 13, so I'll go to 11. I think. And I am out of rep- upgrade. Ma- no, that was armor materials. You you had you had materials there, so you you didn't need to use your own. Oh, okay. Because I have one use of upgrade materials left. Um, as that and happens, two uses. Uh, as you're as you're finishing up with with that, you hear a <laughs> landing over by where where the pod was before, and you see Sai, Liam, and Kyver, along with Sai uh, pulling out of the crate a small little buddy named One Nineteen. <laughs> one Nineteen. Matt, it isn't a phase. It's One Nineteen. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Cal rushes over. All right. You guys all meet up. What do you, what, what's happening? Let's, let's see some, some nice role play. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So 119, right? And I look at the little cabin. Identify. Dr. Cal. Confirmed. Are you okay with me doing a diagnostic? Is that, is that buddy? I, I don't go by buddy. 119. Oh, oh Prado, you're up? <laughs> I thought you were still asleep. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I am 119. 119. Identify. Rodo. Confirmed. What's wrong with him? He needs a diagnostic check. We think it's the same thing that kind of happened to you earlier. I don't know. I'm at a loss. <laughs> Liam. It's okay. Yeah. Don't, don't worry. These, these things tend to happen to us. We're not as... I don't know. It, this is our form of corruption, I, I suppose, is... Best way I can explain it. Um, excuse me, one night thing. Are you fine with the diagnostics check? Negative. I Are just you want sure? I just want my belly to be fixed. Your belly. My belly. The wires are kind of. Um. In order to fully integrate all the repairs into your system, a diagnostic test would be the most efficient way of doing so. We gotta make sure nothing else is broken. But you'll try to change something? We are making sure corrupted code is out of your system. I am not corrupted. I am myself. Okay, let's go ahead with the repairs. And I kind of walk back to the tech room. You hear this, Liam? You know that he he does need a diagnostic check. You need to, you need to see what the what the hell is going on with with. 
I know. Dear buddy. I have n- under no <laughs> Matt, illusions that plan. something is wrong. <laughs> Look Matt, at I his tail. <laughs> Man, I got a plan. Don't worry. We just go in for a repair and then we force him down. Uh, uh, Perfect plan. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, Worst case scenario, I die horribly. It's fine. I mean, I'll, I'll be in the room with you. <laughs> We you also guys, have three that's a, reticons. That's a we have two reticons and a, a Brodo. I think we can hold it down. You guys go over and, play, and place much, uh, Buddy down to go and fix his belly. He's like, now, don't do anything crazy. A uh, Brodo. Yes? Uh, can crazy. you help me with something? Yeah, let me get up. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. What did you guys do to me? You were kind of trying to stab us. A rock smiles. Don't worry, you should probably <laughs> stab you. I I don't have any stabbing weapons. I would just probably try to punch you and break your bones. If you if you punch fast enough, it becomes a point. It becomes a stab. <laughs> Basically, you're going to stab us with your fist. <laughs> you're going to stab us with your fist? Yeah, no, exactly. Okay. Um, um, uh, let me get up. Ugh. All right, I'm up. Uh, who's this guy? And he points over towards sure. towards Kyver. And Kyver's like, I am Kyver Tremere, Plasmatic Knight. We've, we met a Plasmatic Knight before. Different one. Yes. Oh well. Um, I, yeah, no, it was a different. One. It was a different. One. <laughs> I'm double checking. Yes, I don't think I I met you guys before. I'm I met you, you know, but yes, I'm here. Hello, Roto. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And you see, I'm here. Proto begins to head over. He's like, what do you need? Okay. Uh, can you make sure? Uh, where is the core on Buddy? It would be a ball at in the chest okay uh i kind of flip a buddy over to get more light inside of his fucked up gentle tummy. gentle gentle i'm trying i'm trying okay okay <clears throat> um i would like you to roll me a mechanics check mechanics check that's a six plus why is my mechanics not as high as it should be? Uh, 22. No. 23. I messed up. Dr. Cal, once again. That's not even right. Once again. Yes, it is. When you looked at the hypertrick bow, uh, and you saw how advanced it was, once again, you get the same experience looking inside Buddy's internal structure. Okay. Uh, Dr. Cal slowly you, places where a hand. You feel like you are not able to do this on your own and it will take probably several weeks to be able to figure out what, what is going on inside of this you. This is what yeah. you did for Natuna Dinosaurus. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. We <laughs> shush, 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 shush. Buddy, uh, 119 doesn't know that. Dr. Cal slowly places a hand on, like, Buddy's chest and is kind of looking inside of it and tries probing while doing that. Go ahead and roll me a probe. Oh, please, for the love of God, work. <laughs> I'm rolling, rolling real low today. This is fun. Uh, 20, that's a 14 plus 6, which equals a, no, it's not a 6, it's a 14 plus If you didn't four. get a 30, then you lose. I lose? Shit. Game's over. Game's over? Game's you have over. to go back 4 minutes before your death. Before my death? Damn. Uh, well, wait, you, you guys confused me, what was I? Uh, 18. 18 total? Yeah, no, it was a low roll. I've you, only been rolling low. You try to do so, and then it, it... You feel like you could potentially probe him, but it is harder than what would what you would probe with 
proto because proto is because biological too. Like to an extent. Thing, but this is a full robot system, robotic system, but you know that there is some kind of strange sentience to pro, to a uh, buddy to 119. Um, but you feel like he, some, something just kicked you out and it feels... Actually, roll me a discipline one check. Does it feel similar? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, guys. Um, 14 plus 6. Yeah, 14 plus 6, Big so uh, 20. You fail, you die a lot. I keep rolling, like, below 6s, and I don't know you why. You feel like the whatever was blocking you before from Proto is there. Is there. Liam, is there a diagnostic board? I um, told you no diagnostics. Well, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. You're not simple like Proto is. No. I was simple. Poor Proto. You're not <laughs> simple. That's not the right word. I built you for the most part. I understand a lot of your mechanics. I mean, if um, um, 119 <laughs> lets me look. You get a lot of vibrations in, in, in your one of your pockets, Dr. Cal. Please be Sylvie. Please be Sylvie. Please be Sylvie. Is it the Sylvie Codex? You suddenly see uh, in the Sylvie Codex uh, a <laughs> multitude of messages begin to pop up saying, where are you? What the F? And like just a bunch of just <laughs> messages yeah, no, there, start there to pop up. There isn't uh, profanity filters on Sylvie. Okay. Well, just so yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there, no. there's a lot of pretty... Sylvie, we're dealing with a problem right now. I don't Proto, care about your problems. Sylvie? You need, you <laughs> have some explaining to right do. Now. I understand, Sylvie. <laughs> and I give it to Proto. Wow, <laughs> you give Sylvie to Proto? Yes, I can't deal with this right now. Uh, we Pro- have another problem. Proto takes it, he's like, he's like, hi, hi, Sylvie. He's like, I can't hand oh. you back to him right now. This is kind of a, a, a situation. I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can, can I just turn her off? <laughs> no. Love of God, do not turn her off. She is pissed. All right. <laughs> Rightfully I'm, so. But I'm just going to put Sylvie over here. <laughs> and he, he goes and walks over and puts Sylvie to the side. I imagine her hologram is cussing us off. <laughs> and as oh, that. I with all the rest of the fire. As that oh, happens, uh, Proto comes back over. He's like, I muted her. God damn it, Proto. <laughs> why going I, to to why did one. you let, let her, like, you know, just wake up like that? Well, I didn't think about it, Proto. We've been having issues. Can oh, you guys fix me up now or it. not? <laughs> I try probing <laughs> again. You try probing again? Yeah, my hand's still kind of on their chest, looking in there, trying to figure it out. Okay. Go ahead and probe again. Anyone else doing something? Should someone help me? Guys, I, I can't do this. How am I supposed, like... And is there is there any way for me to use my magic and share um, to assist on anything, or no? Yeah, I, guys, I got a 30. Devices. That's not... That's not... Yeah, no, that's no. not 30. Is there anything use... that Rock can use his fists on to help the situation? Uh, uh, so you you guys weird. are trying to figure out like how to help how to help him, but as soon as he touches it, you see him. Uh, I, I like an endurance check from Dr. Cal, and then an <laughs> athletics check. Oh God, I did get a thirty-one. Just for that, I used um, uh, resourceful. It, it still didn't work. Jesus Christ! Right. Uh, endurance check. I got an 8 plus 5, which is 13 plus 1. Um, 14. I got more dice, so I can actually start doing this. I can kill you faster (laughs) than an 8. 
Yeah, no, I can't do this. I just matched out on my dice. Don't you, Matt? Guys, I just matched my dice, and Matt hit me with that doesn't work. No, <laughs> I can't do this. I, I don't know can't. how I'm supposed to help. I can barely get close enough to him. Uh, and then ath- athletics check. What, what was your athletics check? Uh, my athletics check was a ten. A ten. Okay. Um, you guys watch as as he tries to probe, and then suddenly a shock extends out. You take you take thirty six points uh, of damage, Doctor Cal, to your stamina. Okay, uh, that knocks off eighteen stamina, and then I take the rest in health. Uh, yeah. How much damage was that again? Thirty six. Thirty six. So another okay. eighteen, I believe, right? That's that's half and half, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, eighteen. Yeah, yeah no. Uh, and we minus that by twenty five. I'm at seven. You and then you see Doctor Cal gets shot back backwards about twenty feet and hits the wall. Um, you Shit. also take another from hitting the wall. God damn it, you asshole! <laughs> Sorry, I'm in seven French. points. Hey, I just... Did I just die? Uh, he <laughs> falls... Did you just kill me? He f- <laughs> you see Proto... Uh, you see you see Proto look back and like, Oh my! And and Dr. Cow, you uh, you get completely knocked out. Completely. Uh, you guys watch this happen. <laughs> I mad out ice motherfucker on that probing check. <laughs> what do you want me to do, Matt? Sorry, oh, no. uh, I rush over and uh, help him out. Kyver rushes over and pulls out uh, his source, his source rune. rune. He's like, "Shit, okay." Uh, I, I I can probably. Well, do you want to use your magic? Do you have a med wave? Yes, I do. Okay, then then j- just please do do what you can. I'm going to go yeah, over here like, in the corner and meditate so that I can recover some some energy, okay? That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get snuff the fuck out. I actually had some points or stuff oh, for this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I cannot believe that perfectly knocked me out. That <laughs> perfectly knocked you out. Hey, at, least it, was, at least it wasn't to your energy or else you would have been dead. Like you were just. I would not have been dead. I have enough energy. I know, but like if it, if it like got you, I to have zero, a little bit of medicine, not a lot. If it well, got you yeah. most of my medicine comes from the fact that I have int, but I do have a little bit extra. Uh, if you're just using, uh, if you're just using a med wave, if you're just using a med wave, you could just heal him. Uh, up. Yeah, no med waves well, are just sure yeah. Yeah. Liam, right. you're, you're probably better at medicine come. than me. Maybe I. Uh, I mean, I was told this anyway. All right, med weave. Um, so how many how many uses do you have of the med wave? Is it five? Uh, what comes from the default pack? It's five. Just, just five. And I don't believe I ever used it. Okay, well, if that's the case, you can heal a total of 15 if you want to use an entire med wave on him. Here, just a second. I want to... Um, I can't find a pencil. Uh, yeah, let's use it all. Let's just... Alright, 15 health back to you, Dr. Cow, and you <gasps> wake up. You're still at one sta- You're still at one stamina, and you're considered exhausted. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, what the... Jesus Christ. Who is this Jesus Christ? <laughs> I got concussed so hard. I went to a new plane of existence. I was about to say that. <laughs> and then a rock beat me to it. Yeah, no. It works well, best I'm, for it's a rock. rock. I know. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I feel like maybe um, Dr. Cow briefly went into the quantum realm, met Jesus Christ, and then when he came our back, minds, like, Our minds <laughs> connected. Christ. He connected with me for a split second in death. He, was he like, drove you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he went through the quantum realm to real life. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, okay. 
He's like, I'm the way, the truth, the life. (laughs) (laughs) He met Jesus Christ in the quantum realm. (laughs) Well, Jesus Jesus Christ is just a seer, guys. Jesus Christ would be a a holy voice sage. He'd be all the vocations (laughs) at once. He'd be all of them. (laughs) He'd also be a techno monster. Don't worry about it. Wouldn't he be a third of it? Green, whites. He would would be a third of it. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways. Okay. (laughs) She's role play. Well, one of these days, I'll, I'll make um, I'll make a Jesus version inside inside Reborn in Power because it makes sense, you know, because Reborn in Power. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It'll only take three days. It'll only take three days. <laughs> uh, Doctor Cal just slowly gets up and he's like, "No, that that's not going to work." Okay. Is there a way to look at his code? I look over at Liam, and I just slowly walk over to Liam. I mean, I, uh, the, uh, I probably could do it, but um, I don't think I can get close to him. I walk yeah. over to like the two, um, the two reticons, and I kind of like tell them to come closer to me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I need. I need you to hold down the cabin. You. You ready? The cabinet yeah. was held down. You just got completely shocked. Oh, it was held down. Yeah, it was. Uh, you what? guys said that you were you you were holding him down. Oh, okay, I didn't know I, if you just. I I, 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 I we assumed you guys were holding him down. No, I I honestly did. I thought we were trying to make this look like it was consensual. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, he is, hasn't tried to. It was in the up moment that a rock mentioned the most important thing about. Uh, mechanical safety. <laughs> Why don't you just wear gloves? Be grounded. <laughs> you mean you don't okay. wear gloves? Like Doctor Cal does wear shock gloves. Those went through shock gloves. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's wearing rubber gloves with tasers on him right now. Uh, okay, guys, I need you to hold down the cabin. Are you ready? We gotta do this fast. All right, Rock agrees and gets into. Don't the forget the tail. So it's yeah. Don't forget wild. the tail. <laughs> don't what if I just cut the off the tail? tail? Don't cut off the tail. <laughs> Let's not do more damage to him, please. Okay, you ready? Three. <laughs> As you guys walk over, okay, I'd like you to roll me a a perception check. Oh God. Okay. Why do you okay. hurt me? Perception activate. Uh, I got a 13. 19. Oh. If you got above a 10 on a perception, you see this, you notice that Buddy is not turned on. I killed him. Uh, let's, if we can, let's strap him and let's start looking at him. <laughs> let's strap him. Let's see. Yeah. There's stuff here for like engine pod strapping. I think we can strap down the cabot. You strap down the cabot. If I'm mistaken, no, wait, no. I don't know if that exists in this universe. Jeez, universe at, at, at this rate, Dr. Cal and, and Caliber are just going to be a part of a part of Squadron IT. <laughs> yeah, one, no. of us, one of us, <laughs> one of us, one of us. But yeah, no, thing. we strap him down. Uh, Bloody was a rock. <laughs> Well, Liam, you're going to have to try going into the code. Probing it's not going to work. Sounds good. Uh, would you be mind to help me? I think you know more than that. I can enter. Like, how do you code this thing? How did you code him? I mean, I, I basically just took him out of a ship. I didn't do the code. <laughs> what? What do you mean you didn't do the code? That is a lot more than a ship AI. <laughs> <laughs> I just he kind of just you know did the thing. What the? Excuse me, Liam. That I thing had just developed. No hand in making body, except for his frame. Uh, Doctor Cal takes a minute, goes over to a wall, and he just screams at a wall for a second. <laughs> Proto Proto walks over to Doctor Cal. Is like, is is he 
irritating you again like before? No, 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 Proto. That thing just happened. I coded you to be that smart. That thing just happened. It just happened in space from a ship AI. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should ask Liam more questions and maybe it's Liam that we need to do a diagnostic check on. I mean, Liam, are you in code? Are you infected? Did you cause this? <laughs> uh, dang it. Oh, if, if, one, Dr. If, Cal asking me if one 19 were awake, he'd be like, Yes, he caused it all. <laughs> he caused it all. It's all his fault. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, is why we can't have new things. Gosh, I love roleplay sessions so much. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, Liam. Is there even a way to access this code? I mean, there has to be a way. <laughs> He's never tried if, if, No, like, if he, it, like, he can interface with a, one electronics, there has to be a way to interface with Do you with want him. me to try? You just hold me I mean, down? Maybe, maybe we don't just try you alone. We just kind of got you back from whatever's going on, and I gesture to um, 119. Well, then what about the guy in the corner who is radiating Magic. a lot of energy right now? He's meditating in case we get attacked again. Um, or in case I... I mean, I... 119 like, like, does do not something? normally have a stabby tail. Um, I've interfaced with, with 119 before. Yeah, so there has to be a way to... I mean, I Sai, you, wanna, you, you have a very like. unique frame. You could probably try to do something. You want to piggyback off of me and try that way? I could probe you, and then using your interface, we should be able to interface with him. I would strap Sai down as well. No, oh. you're yeah, technical as well. Wait, can yeah, you... don't... Yeah. Can... can... Doc doctor, can you probe like multiple of us so that we can all go in? Uh, can I roll a probing check for that? Because <laughs> Doctor Cal's never tried it before. He's heard it. He's seen it. Roll. Done. Oh yeah, you've seen it done. You you've seen it done. I mean, it, it. You've probed a few times now, and also you did that thing with Caliber going into another Nugonian's mind. That was with another Nugonian. You're not sure if you. Maybe you could probably do this. It just it's a matter of if everyone is willing and opens their minds enough to where you can create a full network of effect to go through. <laughs> oh, this will be dangerous. <laughs> so the answer is yes, right? <laughs> I can do it. I would feel safer if it was just me and Proto. If you guys want to come along, that's different. I I really want to help, buddy. I recommend me, Proto, and Liam. Just because all three of us have been probed before, so if Monty's going to fuck with us, it'd be through those three. <laughs> I don't want to open up the rest of you to that possibility. Mm. Proto is like, I think that the more minds we have, because from what I've well gathered from you all is that you probably have experienced things like this before, right? Oh yeah, uh, me. I I'm pretty sure Marmaduke used me as an interface to get Liam back. Okay. okay. From well, if it, if possible. It might... Cal, I think that having more minds might fortify us a bit better. Okay. Um, but it's only um, if you could do it, but if you can't, you can, I can just probably leave, leave people it. behind. But Okay, let's try this. Anyone who wants to join... And I just kind of put my hand out. I, I think I, you did I, something similar to that. Yeah, I, I put my hand on top of on top of Cal's hand. You suddenly hear what is going on, and you see Kyver behind you guys. 
We're trying to get inside this thing's mind. (laughs) Because there doesn't seem to be a coding in our face. I can't do the same trick I did with Prelda. Well, I just recovered some energy, so I should see what I can do. You see, he goes over to the frame. TPK, TPK, TPK. TPK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sai, you notice that he tries to do, he's doing the same exact thing that he did before, where he was really focusing. And then suddenly, this coded language begins to appear in front of him, like it is turning into a stone, but it's not. Like like he's he's forging a rune, but it's actually just a coded language etched into etched into literally the space in front of him. And Liam, I'd like you to roll me a lore check. Liam, Liam, are you there? Did, did, are you running a lawyer? Oh, sorry, here? I I had eaten, so I had to mute myself. Um, yeah, I rolled a twenty-one for that. Looking at what he's doing, and you see the coding. It, the coding looks so familiar. It looks very similar to that of the dreams that you keep having whenever you go into that space. It looks just like that. Huh. Hey, what is that? You see, he's focused. And does not respond. Probably not. A um, <laughs> do, I, do I have any knowledge I could, I could uh, explain to Liam the basic understanding of... Roll me a lore check, actually, Sai, because I, I just realized that you actually might know something about this. Oh, that is only a thirteen. Never mind. You don't know. You don't know about, about this. Wait, but, no. I'm oh, missing. Oh, I am missing something. Wait, you, it might. Oh, oh, oh. Do, 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 do. Okay, that is a fifteen. It wasn't adding That's my exactly lore. Exactly what you needed. <laughs> um, thinking back, Sai. There was one time. Where you were inside a... Whoa. You were trying to do like a... a, a, You were at a meeting at the... Well, the Rin Empire on the harbor. And you had run into a rune forger. A master forger named Thadian Soar. I remember that name. (laughs) And Thadian Soar, you remember, is... Well... The head, uh, the head master of the Sor Castell, which is the castell in which your lineage of Nis Atiz is a part of, and uh, Thadian Sor is a rune forger, master a master forger, and he is also a he. He is known because he is known as an arc forger. And arc forging allows for a rune forger to basically forge runes that are that aren't a part of the main eight core energies, but are mixtures of those energies together. And Thadian tends to have well, like the, the only arc forgers, like there, there's only a few arc forgers, and those arc forgers are mainly trained by Thadian Sor. This Kyver might be one of those apprentices to Thadian. But you're not sure exactly what he is doing fully. All right. So from what I know, most rune forgers only work with one energy at a time. Um, all I know is that he's basically doing some mixed media work right there, and it's at least two energies. Other than that, yeah. Well. If you like, you can roll me in an energy check to see. Yes, I would. If anyone else has an energy, you may roll as well. Uh, 
Oh God, where's my energy knowledge? <laughs> no, it's not here. Is it not? Did you forget to put it in this one? It might not, I mean, I haven't been able to access this in a while, so oh, it might, yeah. might just not hey, be in. Hey, Yeah. Um, I haven't uh, regenerated my energy since last session. I'm pretty sure I lost some of it. Uh, that didn't seem to need. transfer over. Oh, it is. Are you asking to re regenerate your energy, mm -hmm. or? Well, no. If I, if there was ever a time where that happened, or should I have energy is a, like you? you uh, oh, sorry. Uh, stamina. Sorry. That, oh no, that, that your was the question I've been meaning to ask. Your stamina is back. Your stamina. Energy okay. is the hard one to recover. Okay. Um, I got twenty one. I don't think I have energy. Twenty one. As you are looking at this, it is a mixture of quantum, cosmic, and spark energy. Good to know. I don't think that means anything to anybody else around me. No. Um, but he's doing this, and as he's doing this. He then pushes forward the coating into Buddy's frame. And then suddenly it begins to... Error, error, error. His eyes open up. Error, error, error. And Kyver seems to be wincing a bit. And, it's like... and then he stops. And then he pulls it back. He's like... Ugh. Um... Error. What is happening? What happened? Did you check my diagnostics? And you see Kyver kind of lean back. His he places his hand on his forehead, and he's just, he's just wincing at this point. And he begins to stumble backwards a little bit, and goes over to you guys. <sighs> There's um, for sure, a corrupted code inside there. But also, there is some. There's something linking to him. Do we need to get a lead box? <sighs> I don't think that will change much. Um, we need to short change your cat, cat your cabot. <laughs> <laughs> What? Nearly kill him? You guys Don't put it in a box. What, what was your plan before? I'm going to try going in with multiple of us. With Proto and Sai, we should be able to interface at least enough for me to be able to do it. If it's anything like Proto, we basically just got to install a very fancy firewall. I don't know how I could help with this, uh, but I do know some people who know other of other people who are powerful enough to handle these kinds of things, and they know they have a deeper knowledge of this sort of thing. Where would that be? Back on Vicronyx. Well, I needed to head that direction. Well. And I kind of look over at Spot 119. <laughs> it's been an interesting couple of days. I don't know if I can help you with this problem within the next week. I got my own issues to go take care of. Do you remember your other mission, Dr. Cal, that, that, that the Admiral asked you to do? I got to <laughs> go into the cavern. Yeah, no, that's that's Commander Kircher that asked you to go into the cavern. Wait, what was the but other mission he asked me to the do? The Admiral <laughs> asked you to tell Squad 119 to go. Oh, yeah, that's to... what I was about to do. Yeah. And then you, you hit right. me with... Sorry. You <laughs> <laughs> also, you got the new mission. Uh, you need to go to a place called... It was like Pet. Fet. Pet? Well, Fet. Fet. It was Fet. I wanted to say Fet, but I thought I was messing it up with Boba Fett. A rock. Uh, yes. Actually, Sai, were you a part of the report to the general? Yeah, I've been reporting to the general. Okay, well, um, both of you hear Thet. 
Yeah, both both of you hear Thet, and you remember Thet is to be your next mission for Directive 140. Hmm. Or you're not sure what what to do because Marmaduke is not here. He is technically your pilot. I mean, I could fly. I kind of lived in a spaceship. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, that that qualifies you as a pilot. Uh, 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 shh. I was born as a pilot. <laughs> you were born on a spaceship. There's a difference. Uh, no, it's not fine. technically, but... Sorry. Liam, you're the only one who didn't watch the piloting movie. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you didn't watch Top Gun Space Edition. You didn't watch Top Gun. I mean, I specifically didn't put points in piloting because it wouldn't make sense. Because if I was just stuck on a spaceship, wouldn't I just fly myself out? Sure, sure. I mean, uh, yeah. yeah I mean, Liam, but I also it's, it's up to them whether or not they trust you to pilot. Yeah, so... <laughs> They did. They <laughs> saw me, saw my landing. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> I. <laughs> How many times did you become brainwashed? Me? Yeah. As far as I know, none. Better than mm. Marm. Well, looks at Sai. Do you, can you track Marmaduke? That is you a mean, good question. Where do you can I can I track his com? No, the um, that code Did you me? sent me. <laughs> finally, I had a. I was <laughs> finally checking the code. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, it had a location. Do you, do you have the? Could you tell us? <laughs> yes. Arthadian, could you remind me the name? Next time, uh, there was no, there, there was. It's it was a it was um, a coordinates, it was, not it a. Was a co- it was a coordinate, and yeah. you you okay. can't quite remember the name of it, but you remember the coordinates specifically. Uh, go to a, I mean, a space I station code right right to me. A space station in, in where is it sy- near? Synchronous. Uh, it Synchro. is it is nearby where your ship was stranded. The solar orbiter. So out it's on the board, out. Pretty it's pretty close far. to where you found me. It's well, no, 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 pretty, you, no, no. It's not close to where you where they found you. Wait, wait. You said, you you said you like crash land. No, no, no. Stranded. stranded. Your your oh, ship was stranded. Okay, okay. It's okay. nearby there. It's actually pretty close to where I was for a while. How come I can't open this? Um, but. Kyver looks over. He's like, so you guys are going to be going to get Marmaduke first, or do you want to see about if we could figure out what's going on with Buddy? Or I can... Who be fair? Or I can go and and see if, if my allies can come and meet you out there but then again I do wish to stick around with you guys since I am to train Sai well that is a I got my own problems to go deal with Um, Bobby isn't at least attacking you randomly can I it's an improvement to the proto situation you you hear I don't like being called buddy. I am one nineteen. That you are one nineteen, that you are. And also I got to deal with Sylvie. Kyver's like, okay, well I mean Can I see if, the can I see the coordinates? Oh. Yeah, yeah. And I, I just show him like the the message that I got. Okay. He checks it, it's like and he, and he pulls out his codex and begins to, to check it on, on his own map. And then he says, um, so f- that's going to take some time to get there. Unless you guys have a, a good enough drive to get, 
to get yourself there. It's going to be a few, a few jumps. Yeah, and I'm thinking if this is like what happened to um, Frodo, it might be defended. Yeah. So we might want to get Marmaduke. As much as I want Buddy back. If that's the case, I can go. I can go see if I can get my allies to assist in whatever way I can. But I'd like to. I don't know how much time you guys are willing, but I I'd like to give Sai a few a few things before we go, or at least a few lessons. I mean, I'm gonna have to reacquaint myself on the the helm. I'm guessing. All right. Well, then can we spend one more day here? And for preparations, and then head out. Would that be at all least? Right? <laughs> Would that be all right with everyone? I don't know what you're doing, Doctor Cal. You said something about going to the uh, cavern. Yes, I need to go to this cavern. Oh, um, um Cal, I probably have some information. I'll, I'll. I mean, they have the same information, but I'll just give it to you now, and I sent him, like, all the maps that we, we scouted out and whatnot. Okay. Yeah, Cal, you, you get uh, you get a bunch of messages with, f- like, files and and different, like, ar- archive information, like, from, from archivists that have written multiple entries about the what whole, is... The whole ritual, one of the theories yeah. of what the ritual is, the kind of energies involved. Yep. That shebang. Very useful information. <laughs> Very useful information. I'll have to go through that with you. Um, yeah, we can do that another time. Yeah. But Dr. Cal has been a part of this. Yeah. This squad for too long. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it. He's just going to be like, nah, it's time. It's time. <laughs> it's, it's time. Um, <laughs> but you, you remember that the the Admiral said, send, send them to Thet, too. The Admiral does want you to go to Fed. That, that Did he was... give a timeline? No, that's not for you guys to just say. That's just what I was told to tell you. What do you do is your I own will, problem. I will contact him in a Reasonable. bit. In a bit. Uh, I got to go deal with the AI. Uh, and Dr. Cal goes over and just starts talking with Sylvie for a while. Okay, it's well, gonna be a while. as that happens, we're going to have you guys all kind of like separate at this point going uh, to like you're going to be spending like another day or so. Dr. Cal will will role play inside the Doctor series. Uh, what, yeah. what goes on there? Uh, we're going to have a shopping session. We'll have with we'll, caliber and then you're going to be because going we to have the, money going to be going to the cavern as well. And that's yeah. As for Squad 119, Sai and Kyver are going to be doing a little bit of lessons. Uh, Arak and Liam. I'm not sure exactly what you guys are going to be doing. Um, Probably Liam and is not flying the ship. L- learning to fly the ship. Actually, I'm going to go back to the wreckage, see what I can salvage. Okay, okay, you, you'll, you'll end up doing that. and then... Arak will help, okay. because otherwise he's standing around. Yeah. All right, well, with that... We're going to end our session there. So, yeah, that that that, that, that was a good session. We, we we did it. We did it, guys. I'm finally <laughs> not on Tuesdays. Uh, finally not on <laughs> my Tuesdays. Schedule, my schedule makes more sense again. Yeah, <laughs> it was supposed to be two Matt sessions, guys. <laughs> one of us. One of us. One of us. <laughs> <laughs> There's the reason I said I couldn't be part of Squad 119. <laughs> this is the reason, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, <sighs> thank you all for listening to this uh, this 18th entry. Next next time will be the 19th, um, which is going to be in two weeks. Uh, that would be what date is that? That is the first, the first of August. The first of August. Can you believe it, guys? Almost, oh, wow. it's gonna be fall. I know, I know. Uh, almost, uh, I, well, I mean, a few a few months from now will be one year of us doing this. But yeah, 
Um, uh, yeah, and I'm so sorry. I'm going to be attempting to record a little, a little mini side series with Marmaduke, so that everyone will know exactly what's going on with Marmaduke and all the crazy stuff. <laughs> I just assumed you was having a wet dream about Nightingale. Oh. <laughs> oh, can I say that on Twitch? It, it's it's, I, it's, I it's more it's ask. more than just a wet dream. <laughs> They're happy. <laughs> Sorry, fade to black. Anyways, <laughs> thank you all for listening. Like, share, subscribe, follow, join the Discord, be a part of our community, um, and hopefully, maybe as. As some things come to a close and other things start to open up, I can actually bring up, like more people into playing Reborn in Power and joining us all, and maybe playing other games as well too. Because uh, there's so many games to play. But thank you all for listening, and if death comes to you, may you be reborn in power. Bye. Yay! Clap, clap. Oscar. <laughs> I thank you for listening to the new age. Come subscribe as a chosen so you may gain access to exclusive entries and make your very own chosen of the core. Then join us in the new Expanding Universe Discord server, where we run weekly sessions, teach homebrew mechanics, and much more. Until next time, travelers, be safe, stay safe, and if death comes to you, may you be reborn in power.